All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. What do you get when you cross Ash from Army of Darkness and Marvel Comics? You get Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness. Now, Army of Darkness, Ash is one of my favorite all-time uh, horror icons. He's a uh, friggin' a jerk. He's funny. He's uh, the everyman in a lot of ways. And he's also the chosen one. So it's kind of cool to see the chosen one versus Marvel in any way or form. That was a really cool crossover that nobody saw coming back in 2007. Now, this gem was written by John Lehman, also the writer of the comic Chew. And the art was from Fabiano Nueves. He also drew a lot of the Army of Darkness comics around that time, the early 2000s. Also, another artist, Fernan Blanco. He was a Batman artist. And also, uh, Sean Phillips, who did Marvel, DC. But he was started back in 2000 AD. The Judge Dredd comics, all those really cool, like, heavy metal type comic books. So now... Let's dive into this book. But before we do, due to the graphic nature of this comic, viewer discretion advised. Now in Army of Darkness 13, Ash actually dies. He gets pretty much crucified by uh, Necronomicon energy and gets killed and goes to the great beyond. Now he can't remember if he has to head towards the light like that movie with the uh, little girl or away from the light. And also, he's worried about his uh, <clears throat> risque behavior when he was still alive. Now, around that time, in the Marvel Universe, Hulk gets infected with the hunger, a.k.a. the zo zombie virus. And poor Sentry, trying to help Bruce Banner, ends up getting bit. Now, at some point, the Watcher intervenes. And he, after the Sentry really destroyed that universe, he throws Sentry out of there. Where he ends up, you'll find out in a minute. So, a.k.a. Army of Darkness, Ash falls out of the sky yet again. I guess uh, Heaven didn't want him? He ends up seeing these two fighting and trying to figure who's a good guy, who's a bad guy. Now, the, the poor homeless lady gets possessed by a deadite and is telling Ash that this world that he just landed in is doomed. And, you know, Ash doesn't like to hear a lot of talk, so he punches her in the face. Now, Daredevil and Thunderball see that uh, this guy's about to kill an old lady. So Daredevil actually goes and does something. Punches ass right in the face. I guess he didn't smell her rotting soul or uh, figure things out on his own. But So while he's about to beat the living daylights out of Ash, or Ash was going to do something to him, Thunderball intervenes. While Ash and uh, Daredevil were fighting, Thunderball over here ends up hitting Daredevil from behind. Helping Ash out, and Ash thinks Thunderball's a hero. He says, thank you. Now, Ash finds Avengers Mansion, and he tries to uh, knock on the door with the shotgun, causing all the heroes to come out and kind of uh, throw him around a little bit and question him. Now, while Ash is trying to explain to them, like, you know, deadites are coming, and the world's going to end, and he needs help, they ridicule him, they, they crap on him, then Wanda throws him into a lake, in Central Park while he's watching the sky brighten up knowing the Deadites are coming. Now while Ash is thinking about what happened in heaven, he just remembers that he got there, then it would tell him to, you know, put his, keep his weapons at the door, then he hears a commotion going on around the corner. While he's screaming, somebody shows up to take care of business. That somebody is Spider-Man. Spider-Man webs Ash up, takes him away to a safer place because he figures Ash is a danger to everybody around. You know, the guy with the chainsaw hand and the gun. Poor Ash. So that commotion in heaven was Sentry. When the Watcher pushed Sentry out of that time, he ended up pushing him into heaven where Ash happened to be. So Ash, so Sentry's eating up all the people in heaven and then Ash tries to shoot him in the chest and then Sentry smacks him. Smacks him so hard he sends him to another universe. And look who followed Ash back to that universe. Sentry's back, and he's taking care of all the Avengers one by one. The Avengers start eating innocent people. So while Hawkeye's chewing on some brains, Spider-Man and Ash see it. So Spider-Man goes to help out. Ash is pretty much telling them, you know, don't do it, don't do it. We need a plan. And while Spider-Man swinging into action to help, helping the people, guess who found him? Zombie Cap. 
So while Captain America is chewing on uh, poor Spider-Man, Ash gets dropped to the floor at the feet of the Marvel zombies. So we have Hawkeye asking them, do you want to eat his brains? And everyone's like, nope, because I guess they figure he doesn't have much. So on that note, this is issue one. If you guys want to hear issue two, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. If anyone read this, I figured it'd be kind of cool to do this storyline because A, we got Marvel zombies coming out this year, the show on um, Disney Plus, and we have a new Evil Dead movie coming out in April. So let me know if you found this cool or you found this groovy. Groovy.